Welcome back to another video with your Harness Second Language. Today I am at Joanne. I am on a mission. I am on a hunt to find some yarn to make a baby blanket because my niece will be having a little baby girl in April. And if you had seen one of our previous podcasts, you know that I had said I was interested in making a baby blanket for her. So that's what I'm here to do. So I am on the hunt for some Burnett yarn. Um, this right here is not, it's I believe big twist because I got distracted. But somebody had told me that Joann's was having a pretty good sell on Burnett yarn. And so I want to take advantage of that. So but before I get to that, I got distracted. So real quick before we get to the Burnett yarn, um, if you are new to the channel, um, welcome, glad you're here. Uh, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of the videos that we have for you. Um, and also hit that thumbs up button that helps us out quite a bit. The other half of this channel is Miss Nikki. She's the knitter. I'm Princeton. I'm the crocheter. And together we just do all things yarn. So um, make sure you do come back and check out a video with Miss Nikki. So there's the price of that yarn. It is $6.49. Um, I did like it. I thought it was cool. But I really want to take advantage of the sale at for the Burnett yarn. Um, for those of you who have seen a lot of our walkthrough videos before, you notice that we typically will have music running during this. I don't know if I'm gonna have music in this video slow and low in the background like we typically do because we just keep getting dinged with copyright stuff. So to make YouTube happy, I'm just gonna probably leave it blank. So this here is the Red Heart Ogo yarn and me and Nikki have done reviews on it. We've used it and we've shown a lot of this on our channel. $9.49 for one of these. Uh, I'm not paying that. So you guys know if you watched our video that Miss Nikki and I, I think we paid three or four dollars for ours at Walmart. I can't quite remember and I don't know if it was the exact same thing. Uh, this is not Red Heart. This is Burnett Ogo. Okay, I'm just not realizing that. Maybe that's re the reason why the price is a little bit different, but still, still a little high for me. So I ran into this little guy, caught my eye, and I wanted to find where they were keeping all these because I was going to buy a couple of them. I thought they were pretty cool. This is the only one that I could find. Um, my son is really into Sesame Street and Elmo and things like that, so I thought it would be cool to get a couple of them, maybe make some hats out of them but I could only find that one. I don't know if I wasn't looking in the right place or if they didn't have any more or what. But anyway, so here we are at the Burnett yarn. As you can see, it is $7.99, and I believe it was regularly $11.99. I can't remember. Um, I do end up buying some yarn. I'm not gonna tell you which ones I got just yet, but I do show you which ones I got at the end of this video, so make sure you stay tuned and watch. But go ahead and make your guess down in the comment section. Let me know what color you think I got. And I did end up getting this Burnett baby blanket yarn. So comment down below, let me know what color you think I got. So, okay, so let's go over the numbers on this Burnett baby blanket um, yarn. So for 300 yards, I can't remember how many grams it is. I believe I show it here. Uh, I did not show it, but it was on sale for $7.99, and they had a lot of this yarn. Um, I believe it was two full aisles, I think it was, and a lot of different colors. So I think they're really trying to get rid of this, and I'm glad that they are because that cell, as you guys know, I'm Mr. Frugal, that cell really made my heart dance, so... You know, typically when we make these videos, Miss Nikki is with me. And I gotta say, it's so much easier having an extra set of hands during uh, filming this. Um, you, you'll see in a little bit, I fumble around with some yarn and uh, it's a lot easier with four hands instead of just two. Um, but anyways, another thing I thought was kind of odd was um, typically when we do these videos, the aisles, they're not full, but there's definitely people in them. But this time, it was just me. I don't know what the deal is. I just came at the right time, I guess. Nobody else looking at yarn today. So I was able to really just take my time. Um, I didn't have to worry about getting hit by a cart. If you guys saw one of our Walmart videos, you know what I'm talking about. 
they don't have to worry about that. So it was quite nice to shop, you know, slowly and in peace and, you know, no distractions other than, you know, all the different selections of yarn that they had. So this one right here caught my eye. Um, you know, I didn't really want to do anything too busy and that was a little too busy for me so I did not get that so you can see there's 10.5 ounces 300 yards um, and it is a hundred percent polyester um, it was very soft um, I would say it's squishy I mean people say squishy all the time for yarn it was, I would say it's pretty squishy um, this little thing right here caught my eye so it, it was talking about loopy yarn and the explanation of it and um, I'll let you read what it says. So I thought that was pretty cool. I had never done anything like that before. I'll have to ask Miss Nikki if she's done, you know, that, that style before. So, um, I don't know. I thought it caught my eye. I thought you guys might like that. All right, moving on to some more yarn. As you can see, we're still in the brunette yarn. The, I believe it's, it's still, it's just blanket yarn. It's not the baby blanket yarn. Um, it was still just as soft. It, I didn't really feel much of a difference. Um, but this here was pretty cool. Um, same price. They had some brunette color pooling yarn. And um, I thought that was really cool. As you guys know, I dabbled in color pooling. And I did figure it out. It took me quite a while. A lot of trial and error. But it is worth it once you... I don't know if I got lucky a couple times or if I actually really know how to do it. But um, it's pretty cool. I like it. I thought the design turned out pretty cool. Um... I have to, I believe I've given all those projects away, but if not, I'll show some of my color pooling projects on an, a future podcast. So they only had a couple colors and the color pooling, um, and they were darker colors, but I did like the colors that they did have. All right, moving on. I believe in a minute we are going to find some Red Heart Ogo yarn. But before we get there, if you've lasted this long to the video and you haven't hit that thumbs up button, I don't really know what you're waiting on. Hit that thumbs up button. It does help us out. All right, so we are at the Ogo yarn. I found this in the Red Heart section. It was cheaper, as you can see. It was about $5.50. Um, the yarn wasn't as thick. It was um, a medium weight yarn. And perhaps that's the price difference. I don't really know. Um, surely it wouldn't be just the brand. I'm not really sure. So I'm going back, I'm going to go pick up the yarn that I um, wanted to buy for her. So if you want to, comment down below, let me know what color you think I got. And um, yeah, I'm going to end the voice over here and we're gonna to walk to the register and we're gonna pay for the yarn. I'll go to my car and we're gonna talk about what I got. So um, thank you guys for, well, we're not ending. I don't know why I'm doing my, my outro. Um, so let's go ahead and jump into what I got. All right, so I picked out a couple balls of yarn here and I'm gonna show you guys what I got. So I decided to go with this color of the brunette yarn. Um, it is called the Pretty Girl. They are having a little girl, so we're excited about that. And uh, I know my niece's favorite color is purple, so I think she will enjoy this. I went ahead and got two. So, they were originally priced for $12 each or $11.99 and they were on sale for $7.99 so I got them both for about $17 or so after tax and uh, I think it'll work out pretty well. I hope it will. Um, I know of nothing else the mother of baby will like the color so um, that's it. I'm sorry I'm chewing gum. I forgot to spit it out when I was <laughs> getting in my car but I hope it's not too annoying. Um, hit that thumbs up button. If you guys are not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Miss Nikki will be back in the next episode or next video. So if you are new to the channel, make sure you come back, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get notified when we do release a new video so you can meet Miss Nikki. I guarantee you will 
you may like her, you may not. I'm, I'm either way with her, so. <laughs> All right, guys, I'll see you guys later. Adios.